As fall approaches, many of us will be doing a fall overseed to thicken up our existing turf or introduce new cultivars. But there is one product that no one talks about when overseeding. Guys, welcome back to another episode of In the Lawn with Seth on my YouTube channel, Something with Seth. With grass seed ranging from three to $19 a pound, we don't want all that money to go to waste. We want a thick turf and we want to thicken it up as soon as possible. We got it covered. Seed to soil contact, maybe a dethatch. We've got the peat moss, grass seed, starter fertilizer. A lot of these products here look familiar to you guys. So what's the missing product? So you guys may have done this before. You overseed, you go outside and ask yourself, where'd all the grass seed go that I applied? And you might even think, well, maybe it's that cultivar that takes a few more days to germinate. I'm sure if I asked you guys, what eats this grass seed that we throw down? I'm sure most of you would say birds. Guys, I'm not worried about birds eating this grass seed. They eat insects. And what do insects eat? Well, your overpriced grass seed. Here's a bare spot that you guys saw earlier on in the summer. What would happen if I put grass seed down and let it set? Within a few days, I still have that bare spot with minimal germination. Ants aren't the only insect I'm worried about. We have crickets, grasshoppers. You guys see all that stuff around when you're mowing throughout the fall. What they're gonna do is get as much food in them as they can before they hibernate. So one thing on this bag that it says this kills right here, the active ingredient gets bound up in the soil so it's not gonna be a curative for the grubs like it shows. It's more of a preventative. Don't apply this thinking that you can't get rid of your grubs that are munching on your roots regardless of what it says. So if you have a slow germinating seed like Midnight Kentucky Bluegrass like I have, that's gonna be down on the turf more and the bugs are gonna have more time to get it. You don't want them bugs eating that grass seed. Now if you apply perennial rye or fescue, that stuff germinates pretty quick. So applying this product might not need to be an option for you. Guys, go out to your lawn, see what you got. So you really just wanna get down into your turf and see if you do have bugs. I'm not gonna apply this product. I'm not gonna do an overseed this year out front. I actually might do an overseed out back with some Kentucky bluegrass, but I also do have those plugs that I'm gonna be putting in of the Midnight Kentucky bluegrass out here in front. This product is gonna be last resort. You really don't wanna just put this down for the heck of it. If you guys have been watering your seed and seeing germination, but not as much as you would anticipate. See if this product might help you out. When applying any insecticides to your turf, you wanna make sure that you guys put a barrier around your house because those insects, they're just not gonna stay on the turf. They're gonna relocate and odds are they're gonna relocate to your house. You can use home defense and put that around your house maybe the day before applying this product. I apply this product the same day that I apply the grass seed, the peat moss, and I water it in. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. You guys drop me a comment. See if this is a problem that you even thought about or something that you're going to try. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.